A very good day to our respected sir. We are from section 01B and from group 01, would like to present our mini project for mobile development, mobile application development 2021. Before we go any further, let me introduce myself. My name is Logan Diban, son of Munipan, CC19063. And my name is Hatayagan Shalakisbe Kumar, and my metric ID is CC19066. My name is Ikshimana Pumpa Effort, CC19056. My name is Amir Shara Biti Kamarudin, ID CC19065. Okay, before we go much more further, let me to let me give a small briefing of our agenda today. Today we are going to show our mobile application which has been developed uh, according to our part. Okay. Hello sir, my name is Hadiya Ganesh, uh, like Sir Kumar. So today I would like to present my part in this app. So this is our app. So at the first, when the user um, click on this app, the user can able to see the splash screen. So inside the splash screen, they need to click this get start button so when the user uh, clicking the get start button the user can able to see the login page so let me log in first uh, with the student account so yeah so for this we are using firebase authentication and i click login so yeah it's it's login successfully so when the user login into the application at the first time they can see the dashboard so at the, at the dashboard there's three buttons so the first one is game and the uh, third one is guideline and the fourth one is start complaining so let me show the main feature of this app start complaint so when the user uh, click the start complaint the user can able to see uh, this page so in this page the user need to choose uh, whether they want to complain in Pekan or Gamba so if I choose Pekan it will show uh, which college code am on? So I click college code am on five. So at this page, the user need to first uh, the user need to add the image. Um, add the problem image. If let's say I choose um, okay, yeah, these are stickers. So I just choose this picture. And I choose, yeah, this is the problem. The sticker is my problem, so I just <laughs> select this image and I, I put log at the band and it's metric ID and the IC number, gender, and this is the current, uh, current date and the current time. And the campus location is Pekka and the college code my name is uh, 5. And I put my phone number. And I choose Kurosakan. If let's say I choose the line line, I can't select this. If I choose Kurosakan, then I can able to choose this. So I just put uh, not electrical. I put other problem. And I choose the time that occur and the uh, time and date that occur. And I just put please take the action as soon as possible. Yeah. Just submit. So, yeah and the complaint was uh, successfully sent so then the system the app will so at this point uh, it will show a dialogue why don't you play the game meanwhile we are looking for a company so i click no now because uh, the game part loga will explain it coming to the next page this is the news page so at this page the user can able to see current news that happens around KK I mean college Kodiyama and and faculty 
so coming to the next page and this is the form page so at this page the user can able to see uh, the, uh, the user can able to see uh, the complaint that the, that he made so let's say I just made this complaint so I can able to see the details and also I can uh, view I can see the complaint status so still it's in progress when the user update, when the admin update so then I can see the updated status coming to the last page this is the icon page so at this page the user can change their uh, their personal details such as the image they can change the image let me change the image so yeah I choose this image The image was successfully updated. I also can change the username, so I changed to Satya. Yeah, the username was updated successfully, and I also can search the password as well. And the user can also log out. Yeah, the they can log out successfully. Uh, so now, sir, let me explain it my part in the admin account. So first, I log in into the admin account. So when the admin logged in into the app, so this is the dashboard for admin. So the feature that I add is this. So if the admin don't know where the user location. Uh, the complaint user location they can use this feature to uh, to see the user uh, to see where the user is and currently I'm at this area so if let's say I want to go to the KK Lima and this is the KK Lima so I point the I point a pin to my location and I point another more pin pin to the location that I want to go so currently I'm going to the KK5 so I just pin to the KK5 yeah and then I can start navigate so it will drive east then turn so left turn left then the your destination will be on the right KK5. thank you your a very good day to my respected sir okay my name is Logadiban, son of Munipan, and today I'm going to show you my contribution in this application. Okay, let's get started. My contribution in this application is for the one of the main contribution is lecturer. Before we go further, the lecturer have to sign in, sign up before they using the application. There will be given option to for the lecturers to register. Now I have registered the lecturer early before. So we just have to log in and input the password and select lecture. As usual, uh, this design was designed by me and being uh, applied to with everyone, every uh, type of users. And this database has been designed by me. And then the user have to click login and this is the main interface of the lecturer for the so this the lecturer can either play games the lecturer can read the guidelines which is provided to the university students and the main thing is the lecturer can start complaint First, the lecturer have to pre select which campus are they from. They are from Bakan or they are from Gambang campus. For example, I am lecturer for Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology. You think I, I have to... report about this. And me as a lecturer has to put a... Dr. Loga and then my ID number is Monto345 
two, three, four, five. The date, the location, the faculty, and faculty of civil engineering. UMP Kambang have to up have to update my current location, my phone number. Select the category I don't want Kurosakan. Furniture damage. Have to choose the current date, the time it occurred, and and then I have to submit it. After the report has been submitted, the user will be asked whether they want to play the games or no. For now, I click the no option. And then uh, me as a lecturer can look at the current news which is happening over in University of Malaysia Pahang. And then can see my current, uh, my, my report. Uh, here my report has been uh, fully completed. We can either give feedback to the uh, feedback about the admin, about the work that we were done. And then I also can see that my status in progress. Besides that, uh, I also can view myself, my informations. I can change the name. And then I also can change the image of my, my image. I can update the image. The loading time is based on the MB of the given updated photos. The image has been updated and this is and I can change the password at the same time I can log out. Another function that I have added in this application is uh, once the user click the submit button there will be asked a small question whether whether they want to play games or they just want to mean they whether the user will be asked whether they want to play a game meanwhile the look meanwhile the admin or administrative uh, looking at looking at the complaints were given if the user click yes they will be straight away uh, bring back or navigated to the main interface, one of the interface, which is the game interface. Here, the user can play game. Uh, it will be the user can play game by pressing the by pressing the interface, the main page, and then once they fail in fail, they have to play again, and then they have to beat their high score while they play this game. In this application, uh, in this in this interface, there will be wording that uh, we will fulfill your complaint before you reach thousand, ten hundred thousand. It's a challenge. We challenge the user uh, that their complaints will be fulfilled in the time given. I mean, while they play the game. Okay, my name is Ixim Anapoba Effort, CC10056. Now I'm going to explain about my part. First, we will start the we will start to explain about the admin module. The admin will have to select their type, which is the admin type, and also enter their email and password. So this is the admin interface. There are four selection. The first one is the hostel for the this this uh, this interface is for the students complaint. There are two types which are from the campus Pekan or Kambang. Okay. Now we will select one of the student. And here it will display the student details and the complaint details that has been submitted by the student. And the admin is able to update the complaint status. For example, the admin update it in progress. 
and click the update button. Okay, now the status has been updated. Okay, so now we'll look at the complaint form for the student. As you can see here, the, the complaint status has been updated successfully. It shows that in progress. Okay, now we will look at the second section, which is the lecturer section. So there are also two types of campus, Pekan and Gambang. But now we will look at the, we will select one of the lecturer. And this is the complaint that has been uh, filed by Dr. Loga, as you can see here. So the admin is also able to update the status. And click the update button. Next, the admin is also able to contact the lecturer to ask them about the complaint. Here, it will go to an implicit activity, which is the dial pad. Next, admin also able to look at the location. So for this part, uh, this pre is presented by Satya Ganesh. Lastly, admin is able to view the feedback that has been given by student and lecturer. Lastly, and lastly admin is able to log up from the system. Okay, so now I will explain about the news updater. So the news updater enter their login details and click login button. And as you can see here, it display the news that has been added. And the news updater is also able to add the new news. So for example, the, uh, the news is about the KK is having an uh, electrical shortage. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, now, so we are going to, build, to look at the add news. So the news updater is able to add news. And for this demo, we will talk about the electrical shortage that happens in KK5. So this news will later be able to be viewed by the students and also the lecturers. Okay, go. So in the student view, in the student view, the student is able to go to the news section and view the latest update. As you can see, the news has been displayed successfully in the news section. And now the, the news updater will able to log out from the application. Okay. And they will go to the first page. That's all for me. Thank you. This is the first screen that will appear when users open the application. So the logo will be displayed on this screen. And then users can proceed to the login page by clicking on the get started button. So in the login page, users can select user type, enter their email and password. For first time users, they can sign up through the sign up button. So in the sign up button, there will be uh, an image where users can upload their image into the application as their profile picture. 
users can then upload the image into the system. And then they can enter their details. And then they can select the user type through this uh, list and then click on the sign up button. Next, I will show the forget password page. So when users click on the forget password, this page will appear and users are required to enter their email. And click on the done button and then the reset password email will be sent to the gmail of the user after that users can proceed to log in using the email and password Okay, so next is this is the dashboard which is the main menu page and then I will proceed to show the guideline page through the guideline button and then so in this page there will be guidelines or rules for students to to refer to before they add a complaint so if they click on one of the guidelines it will show a documentation and step-by-step -step guidance for students. Okay, now I'm going to show one of the sensor that has been implemented in our application. The first one is light sensor. If we click one of the button, the light will be auto bright, the brightness will be auto. Therefore, if the user, we can see here, whenever the user reduce the brightness, the brightness will be increased by itself because the surrounding light is too dark. Sensor that has been implemented is a uh, gyroscope. We can see here when the user uh, rotate the phone, the form will be rotated by itself. This will auto detect the orientation of the phone itself.